So we are here for another enchantment at the uh, beginning of the episode and uh, today we are going to be enchanting a diamond sword level 45 because uh, I've been using my cape spider mob spawner grinder xp thing and um, yeah it works pretty well and uh, so I've only got one spawner attached so far but um, so yeah got to level 45 in about an hour or so of waiting whilst watching videos but um, anyway let's get on with the enchantment. Level 45. I'm hoping for like a sharpness 5, maybe? Maybe, maybe. Alright, let's go for it. Oh, come on. Come on. Level 45, Bane of Arthropods 5. Looting, looting 3 is pretty good, but Bane of Arthropods 5. Urgh, that's annoying me. But anyway, guys, it looks like we need to start up a cow farm so we can just loot them all out of their stake. But, um,. Ah, oh, Bane of Arthur was 5. We meet again. Actually, I think last time we got 3. But anyway, guys, enjoy. Hello, everybody. My name is Orkdubs, and welcome to a brand new episode. So, we are now here with my diamond sword sword. And, um, yeah, I've been using it a little bit. It's been whooping asses of uh, spiders, one hitting them pretty much most of the time. And uh, lately, I've been getting loads of steak as well. I've got another. Stack of 64 upstairs, and yeah, I'm down at the cave spider spawner, done a little bit more work around, made it look a little bit more prettier, and um, yeah, started to surround this one as well for when we connect it up to make this a dual spider spawner. So um, pretty much, I know I did say, I mean I've been live streaming quite a lot, I did say this, this episode is probably going to be one where I'm just going to be sitting down with you guys and working on a project, but unfortunately... I just got off finishing recording some Limbo, and I did run about a one to two hour recording of it, and I literally destroyed my memory on my computer, so uh, right now I have around about 10 to 20 gigs of memory, and when you're recording games like Minecraft, the recording sizes can be very, very big, so I do need to watch out on uh, how big the size is going to be, and I just remembered I am recording this in 1080p for no reason, so... Uh, yeah, I know, quite awkward, and um, yeah, recording at the wrong size, which is going to be even bigger. So, this this episode will probably be less than five minutes, but um, hopefully next episode I'll be able to give you a longer one to give up for this short episode. So pretty much next episode I'm going to be working on this zombie spawner, and as I said, eventually I want to be connecting this room here to like a miniature room over here where the zombie probably going to have it as a XP grinder as well. I know you're probably thinking, oh, what's the point? Because really, you know, I've already got one over there, which is a dual spider spawner, but um, so what's my having one over here? Well, one I think would be quite fun to do because I've never watched, well, I've watched many people doing before, but uh, never really done one myself. And two, I don't know. I just felt, I, I mean, if I just made it into a drop spawner, one, it would lag out the area a little bit if, uh, I get loads of them spawning because if I'm going to be there for a long time, there's going to be zombies always spawning here. I think I don't know if it actually maybe probably not in spawn radius, but um, yeah. So even if we do use it as an XP grinder, they'll still drop the drop. So it's not like we're losing anything. We're actually gaining XP, which is another item on the list. So uh, yeah, we're going to have this as another XP grinder. I mean, these are not so hard as cave spider spawners. I mean, pretty much all you need to do for this is you need to dig out quite a big broom. Um, probably a few blocks out that way and all the way around. Have a water string going down, lift them up to, I think it's like 24 blocks, and need to do my research. And then, uh, drop them onto one single block in a little room where you can, um, or pretty much the slaughter room so you can kill them. Uh, so they are very simple. When you're using cave spiders, it can be very confusing. You have to use glass, you have to make sure there's always streams uh, guiding them which way to go. And this spawner is very effective as well. I've been I've been using this spawner quite a lot, and they've actually been spawning at a quite decent rate. I mean, even if I stand here, you probably let me just turn on the sound a second. Oh, it's already on. Ooh, slime! Hello, slime. Oh, you don't drop any stuff for me. But, um, yeah, there we go. It's activated, and you can very quickly see quite a few of them coming through. And these drop exactly the same amount of XP. As zombies and other mobs, so um, yeah, I've been really liking the. I mean, this is actually a, probably the best word to use is this is very efficient. 
and how it works and uh, the XP it gives me. But um, yeah, so that is a very nice project we started and I'm very grateful on Toby for helping me do that with his experiences on his own mold grinder with cave spiders. But um, as I said, there's only going to be one minute of this episode left because my computer is flashing saying very low on memory. It's got like probably about 4% left on memory and uh, I can feel it in my FPS. I'm playing at 61 FPS normally play around about 120 to 180 but um, my second little project I'm going to be starting after that one or even when I'm coming to the end of that one is I really want an elevator here. I mean if you don't know what elevator is it's pretty much you know stand on pressure plate walk in and it's like a zipper elevator. I think that's what the guy calls it on the tutorial and what happens is the stair blocks either sides and they get they're like I don't know they keep getting pushed under you and as they do you actually get higher because obviously when you get a stair block under you and it acts as a one block high block and sort of slides you on top it's very confusing how it works but it's very clever and then that should take me up all the way to the top of my house but um, on the other hand I'll need to work out where my house is because uh, I don't really want to come to the top of the elevator and there's like a creeper there and dying straight away because right now the only way I really have to go back up to my house is I have to walk all the way around here and come up here and it's just a bit of a, a bit of a drag because I've had many creepers that's why there is a ladder broken there. I don't know where the creeper spawned I'm guessing like I saw him there and I, I wouldn't think he would have jumped across would he? <laughs> I have no idea but um yeah so that's why there's a ladder missing there but uh, right now it's a little bit of a drag you have to come all the way up here and yeah it just rather have an elevator which takes a few seconds Apart from that, the last thing I'm going to show you guys today is I've now completed the roof of the wheat farm. So now I can quite happily be AFK here without spiders and other mobs jumping over and trampling on the crops. I've also got a lot more lighting on here because I did notice when I turned down my brightness and I did I do normally have on about 25%. Um, what is that? Okay, normal on there. Um, I noticed that it was very dark here, and really the only way any of these crops grew was when it was daylight. And also now I've got these um, solid non-transparent blocks here. It was stopping light, so really I needed to uh, light this place up much more. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this very quick episode. Episode, I think it's number six. I mean, hopefully next episode will be a little bit more of a prepared one, a little bit longer one, and hopefully we we'll working on the mob spawner. So guys stay tuned to that and good night bye mm.